but two more families are mourning the loss of two young loved ones from street drugs with fentanyl, and two people are under arrest facing second-degree murder charges for their deaths. Tonight, we're learning that there are some who don't believe that these deaths are accidental or even considered overdoses, but poisonings. And Meg Ferris, of course, is joining us more mm -hmm. here with the latest on all of it. It's and you know we've been covering the story for a long right. time. Louisiana has one of the highest per capita overdose rates in the nation, number 11 overall. And the deadly synthetic opioid fentanyl being smuggled over the southern border in record numbers is increasingly taking lives here at home. And it's mostly being disguised as pills, Adderall, Vicodin, Percocet, Xanax, but it's also in other drugs. It happened to 18-year-old Haley Dykeman of Bell Chase. A father desperately tries to save his daughter days away from high school graduation with CPR. It happened to Cameron Landry, 22 years old, of Slidell. It's hard seeing someone who you grew up with just pass away on so unexpectedly. A week ago, we were celebrating 4th of July. You got chocolate on your face. With each promising life gone in an instant, and parents left with a lifetime of devastating pain, community authorities, from drug enforcement agencies to coroners who received the lifeless bodies of people so young, publicly, repeatedly sound the warnings. We are seeing that one in four pills, counterfeit pills that we're seizing, has a lethal dose of fentanyl. So the saying goes, one pill can kill really is true here. I speak about it everywhere I go and try to warn people, don't go near that, this medication. It is deadly. We're going to have you on the slab in our uh, coroner's office. Even cocaine that's bought on the street now is counterfeit. It's a mixture of fentanyl and methamphetamine powdered and sold as cocaine. Over the last few years, the Jefferson Parish Coroner's Office has recommended that certain dealers of counterfeit pills that are made to look like prescription drugs get stiff charges. So you agree with trying people or charging them with second degree murder? Absolutely, because these are actually technically, these are poisonings, not overdoses. And it's not only counterfeit pills and powders. He's seeing pot tainted with the deadly fentanyl as well. Now, Dr. Satanovich believes the people selling the pills know they're not the real ones for two reasons. First, it's so much cheaper than the prescription medication. And second, because of the controls on scheduled medications, it would be so hard to get these, yeah, the would. real ones. The real ones wouldn't be so easy to get, right? Exactly, and so cheap on the street. Oh, cheap on the street. All right, Meg, thank you. More to come on this, I'm sure. And of course.